I play a character called Joseph. Joseph. Initially, it was a short film called Dog All Together. And we shot it for no money. We shot it in Glasgow, where I live, where I come from. And when I read the short film script, uh, it blew me away, the, the, the script and the character. And it did very well. It won Venice, it won the BAFTA. And they eventually, Paddy uh, wrote the screenplay for the feature film. So I already knew the character. Um, and what really astonished me was it's very unusual for a short film to really work when it becomes a feature film. Because normally short films are short films because that's the length it should be. You, you've told the story in 15 minutes. So when you open up a short film, normally it runs out of steam around the 25 minute mark, to be honest. So it's unusual for a short film uh, to work when it's expanded into a feature film. But what Paddy did that really fascinated me in, in terms of the script was he opened it up to really examine the character of Hannah, who Olivia plays, and, and then their relationship and what comes of that relationship. So what really took me was that this guy, this Joseph guy, who's so angry about everything, who tortures himself about his own anger, but can't control his own anger, comes into touch with someone who on the surface has, if you like, a certain smug belief in God and in Christianity. And it seems to bring out a certain peace, a solace, which he finds, despite himself, very attractive. He, it's something he's never going to have, which is peace. Just peace, peace of mind, peace of soul, peace of heart. Um, and, and then as the, as the film opens up, we find out that her life is not as he thought it was. In fact, quite the opposite. She has a domestic life um, that has all the trappings of bourgeois respectability, but behind closed doors, she is an abused wife. And, and that from, that's the real key within the film, is the Joseph guy discovering that all is not as it seems. So you've got two people from two ends of the spectrum who have prejudged one another, only to find out that they each actually exist in much the same way, but with different, different trappings, different external um, uh, material things that he doesn't have what she has, but then he doesn't suffer what she's suffering. So that's where the union begins. And that's where, I don't like to use the word redemption, I don't know if it's really applicable, but that's where the hope lies, is, is in these two human beings genuinely stripping away all that they keep to the, the facade of how they get through life. And gradually, as two innocents almost, coming together. Well, what's the key? Just one, I, I think just wanting to tell a story. You know, I don't think there's much point starting to type if you, if you haven't got a story you want to tell, you know. It's, but it, it, it just seemed a natural place to go after the short film. The short ended with uh, Peter's character outside the charity shop where Olivia's character works. And people just kept asking, it was quite a common thing at the end, people were just saying, well what happens to him now, you know, what happens to these characters? And I've written a short film about Olivia's character, and I just thought, well, pff, let's find out what happened, you know, and Joseph is, um, he's a few people really, you know, and he's a bit me as well. Ultimately, you know, it's, it's just a, it's, it's, it's fictional, it's a piece of writing, you know, it's, it's um, if I start to say that it's based on anybody in particular, I'm tied into then that I've just made a film about my life story or my family's life story, you know, it's, it's just a story that Joseph is an amalgamation of people and it's sort of me making sense of, of those people and, and those circumstances.